The first fire fatalities of the new year have completely devastated a Waipahu family and their church. We've learned the patriarch of this family was a truly selfless man dedicated to his children and his church. KITV 4's Andrew Pereira has more in tonight's top story. At 12.45 this morning, most people along Apo Valley Street in Waipahu were fast asleep. But we didn't know until we actually left our house and looked on the side and like half the house was already engulfed in flames. They might have a hard time sleeping tonight, knowing two of their neighbors are dead. Firefighters found one body near the front of the house, another toward the rear. Unfortunately, the um, father and daughter uh, were the ones inside that didn't make it out. Uh, the son uh, was able to make it out. Uh, fortunately, he was not injured. Neighbors and friends identified the victims as 84-year-old Haruki Harry Tokita and his daughter Karen Tokita, believed to be in her mid-50s. I've known him for 50 years because we moved here in 1962, and I never saw him uh, with a mad face. He was always so pleasant. A faithful churchgoer who would literally give you the shirt off his back Tokita was known as the candy man here at Lanakila Baptist Church in school. That's because of his special way of greeting folks every Sunday morning. Every time he saw children in the aisles, he'd shake their hand, he'd put a piece of candy in their hand. And... Although a helping man, the U.S. Army vet who retired from the Oahu Sugar Company never asked for a handout, even as a widower while raising three children with learning disabilities. It says he was a pioneer American, that he didn't uh, expect others to do his job. Tokita was also a fixture at the church's high school in Eva. This morning, kids learned Uncle Harry and his daughter had been killed. We held a special chapel at our high school this morning, and every kid was uh, just brokenhearted because they all love him. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News. The cause of that fire remains under investigation tonight. Hawaii usually has the lowest number of fire deaths of any state in the country, but of course even one death is one too many.